Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structural Designer. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to apply a point load on a building in Tecla Structural Designer. So friends, this building has been fully loaded and designed. We have used UDL for representing the dead load of the masonry walls. So now we'll replace this UDL with uh, your point load or we can also use the point load in addition to the UDL and then we'll see the difference in the design. So let's go to the top level that is the structural tree level and here we can just check the design of this particular beam by clicking on it and then right click and then clicking on design member static. So we can have the reinforcements here as you can see two bars of 16 mm at the top, three bars of 12 mm at the bottom. So these are the reinforcements which have been given here and after that let's just apply an additional point load. So for applying point load you can just place the point load in at any position or you can also uh, define the position by clicking on F2 and then let's say it you want to apply it at a distance of your two meters and then click on enter you can also change the magnitude as well by from here so after you apply it you can just go to the 3d view and after that also you can change the position here as you can see the two meter from this end then they change the position as well as the magnitude let's say i'll do it as 15 kilonewtons and after i do it as 15 kilonewtons i'll just go back to the structure window and then we'll just do one thing we'll just go to the loading because i have changed the loadings we'll go to the combinations and generate certain some new combinations we'll delete the previously generated combinations and then click on next and we'll tick here and after that we'll click on next and then next finish so we have generated the new load combinations and after that we'll just uh, click on design and then we'll design all static so after having changed the load and applying the point load and after you know designing uh, the may building once again and applying the load combinations once again we'll just click on this particular beam and then right click and then we'll check the design of this particular member earlier it was showing two bars of 16 mm at the tension and two bars at the bottom so now as you can see the bars has increased the size is the same uh, because we hadn't changed the size so the number of bars in tension have increased a little it was two and this is the same because in this pan we haven't applied any reinforcement but for this pan as you can see the number of bars in tension have increased so friends this is the procedure for applying your point loads on any beam in tecla structural designer and you can also play around with the positions and also your magnitude of the loading so hope this video was helpful to you so that's all for today's video for more such videos stay connected with our channel bye for now